Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, oh, I'm so excited. I have another collab for you guys. Today, this collab is going to be doing two tutorials using Natasha Denona palettes. So if you would like to see me do two different looks using two different Natasha Denona palettes, as well as five other ladies looks, meaning 10 other tutorials, then just keep watching. <laughs> guys loved the last group collab that we did where we did Pat McGrath and we did full face of Pat McGrath and each took a different palette and did a different look. Today's video, as you can see, we are doing Natasha Denona. Today's video is a little bit more different. What we're going to be doing is we each took two palettes from Natasha Denona and we're mostly going to be focusing on the eye look, incorporating other Natasha Denona products if we want. But the catch is we had somebody else send us inspiration photos for both palettes and we had to create looks based off of those inspiration photos. So the palettes that I was assigned to do for the first look, I will be using the coral palette. As you can see, that is the one that I'm wearing for this first look. And then the second look I will be doing will be using the star palette, which I'm very happy because I haven't done a look on my channel using this palette yet. Here's what my second look using the star palette looks like. So get ready for that. Kelsey Brianna J sent me my inspiration photos. So she did a really great job. I really felt inspired and almost immediately knew what kind of look I wanted to do. Also in this collab, I will show you their looks right now. We of course have Kelsey Brianna J who chose my inspiration photos. We have Tara Lynn who I chose inspiration photos for so make sure you check out her video so that you can see what she did with the photos that I sent her. We have Mel Thompson who always creates beautiful looks. We have the super sweet glam girl Chelsea who just oh she's so beautiful and I love her freckles and then of course we have Alicia from Kinky Sweat and her looks are killer for this video. Now if you're wondering where Michelle is, no she wasn't kicked out. She's having some tech issues but if we end up doing another collab of course Michelle will be in that one. Just unforeseen circumstances. So make sure after you watch my videos that you check out these ladies as well. Can you believe you're getting 12 Natasha Denona tutorials today and just follow along and see what they did with the inspiration that we sent each other. This is such a cool concept. Mel came up with it. Mel I love this idea. I think it's so fun. I had so much fun filming these looks today using the inspiration. So make sure you go subscribe to all of their channels and check out all of their videos. And without further ado, we're gonna get straight into my coral palette tutorial. So the first look that I'm going to be doing is with the coral palette, which is my 5 p.m. palette here. Here are the photos on the screen that Kelsey sent me to draw from inspiration. This look is definitely going to be the more simple wearable look because what I love about the photos she sent me is the ones for the coral palette are so much more different than the star palette. This one, what I'm getting is very clean vibes from all of the pictures. Everything pulls extremely peachy with the picture of the sunset. I love the orangey vibes so I'm feeling inspired to mix the peach and the more cranberry color. The photo of the girl with that monochromatic look, just all one eye look, I'm really pulling a lot of inspiration from. So this looks going to be very monochromatic, very simple, and very peachy. Um, so I've already laid down my base of MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is going to be a ridiculously simple look, you guys. I'm going to start off with this really peachy shade right here, and this is going to be the star of the show for this look. Literally, I'm just going to run this everywhere. I'm using an Esam G34 brush, and it is a blending brush, and I'm using that to blend the color all the way up just about. Out. and then I'm using the tip of the brush to pat the color everywhere else. Obviously you can't really pack on this color for this kind of look but blend it out basically everywhere. And again on this side. This shade by the way is so pretty from this palette. I absolutely love it. Like I'm happy with just doing this as an eyeshadow look and nothing else. And then kind of once you feel everything has been spread out I'm gonna get just like a tiny bit more on my brush and blend everything almost up basically to the brow bone very subtly. Then I'm going to take a Wayne Goss number 18 brush, still playing with that original peachy color, and I'm going to blow it out on my lower lash line. And I'm using this brush because it's a little fatter than a brush that I would normally use because I really want the blown out effortless effect. 
All right, so I'm really liking how that's looking. And then again with this Wayne Goss 18 brush, I'm gonna take just a touch of this cranberry color and we're going to create subtle orange vibes by just mixing that in there. It's gonna bring in like that sunset that we saw and kind of whatever's left on the brush, run it along the lid. That's why I love this brush. I'm using it as a blending brush and it also has a flat side that you can kind of pack a little bit of color on. And to really diffuse that, use the first color. And then I'm gonna leave it there. I don't want it to be any darker on my lower lash line. But I'm going to continue to use this brush and just to lighten things up and add a glow, I'm going to take this first peachy shimmery color and I'm going to pat that on the inner half of the lid just to brighten this look up, add a little bit of that summer glow. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is from literally a random Coastal Scents set that I've had. And I'm gonna take that shimmery peach and pop that right under. The photos I got were very summery, so I wanted to add a little bit of a glow. So this is it for the eyes. You'll see with liner and lashes, everything's going to pull together. But I do want to take a quick walk over to complexion. I'm going to take my Natasha Denona Pan Bronze and Glow with my Sonia G Pro Face Brush. We're just going to warm up the face a little bit, just slightly, not too much, just so that we look a little bit more dimensional. For blush, I saw Tara Lynn do this in her original review months ago. I actually want to use this shade as a blush as well to really create a monochromatic look. So I'm going to take my Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush. We're going to dip it in the second color. And I want to focus this on the upper part of my cheek, almost to kind of blend into the eyes. If you have this palette, by the way, this is a gorgeous peachy blush. And as you can see, I'm taking that and I'm literally blending it into the eye look. And take a little bit and run that across the nose so everything looks cohesive. And then I'm going to grab from my Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow. There's this gorgeous peachy golden shade right here. I'm going to take just a touch of that on the brush. And I'm going to run that kind of in my highlight area, but since there's already blush there, it's okay that it's a little bit darker. Uh, normally for a highlight, I wouldn't want it to have such a cast when you turn, but for the spring look, that's what I want. And this is going to add just the perfect amount of glow and summer sheen to the face. And if you do want to add a brighter highlight, go in with the shade next to it. I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm taking the Glow Extreme for a little extra pump to this look. If you want everything to kind of blend into the skin more, take your sponge, just press it in. If you're very fair, that's gonna kind of subdue everything. So as far as liner and lashes, again, I want to keep everything very minimalistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna skip liner altogether and I'm going to go straight into a mascara. Make sure you choose one that is really lengthening on the lashes. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. I'm gonna put this on off camera and then I'm gonna share with you what lashes I'm using. But I'm not curling my lashes because I'm putting false lashes on top. For lashes, I wanna do something a little bit more minimal but I still want them visible just because I'm a lash girl. So I'm using my Coco Misha's which are my favorite everyday lashes. So really quickly I'm going to put them on and then you'll see. I love these lashes because they have such a thin band but a quick tip if you didn't put any liner underneath your lashes, you got to squeeze your lashes together with your real lashes. Otherwise, your fake lashes are gonna be so unbelievably fake looking. So just squeezing them together makes them look like your real lashes. So for lips, I wanna keep it kind of light and nude. So I'm actually gonna mix two Natasha Denona lip colors. So I'm gonna mix Lyran, which is a little bit more brown based, and then Beatrice, which is a little bit more pink based, and I'm hoping I can get a little bit more of a peachy color because I don't really have peachy lips. But just to give my lips some shape, I'm using another round from ColourPop. And I'm gonna start off with Lyran and I'm just gonna lightly pat that on my lips. And then to add a little bit more pinkiness, we're gonna take some of Beatrice. All right, so here is the final look using the coral palette and of course some inspo photos sent from Kelsey Brianna J. I really am liking this look. It's very light, fresh, and perfect for spring and it was really easy to do. And I always think it's really fun during the springtime to really play with a lot of blush and I really enjoyed the technique that I used and it's very, very subtle and still wearable as well. So now I'm gonna take you over to my star palette tutorial. So for this tutorial, we have the gorgeous 
gorgeous star palette and I'm really excited to be featuring this guy on my channel because I have not yet done a tutorial of this palette on my channel so here you go here are the photos that Kelsey sent to me for the star palette I mean as you can tell right away we have very grungy photos black and gray smoky eyes all of that stuff I want to do something kind of smudgy lots of dark colors and then if you see this picture right here she has like a beautiful silver on the lid so this palette doesn't even have like a straight up black color but especially when you play with this side you can get very grungy kind of looks so that's what we're going for really grungy smoky kind of vibe heavy on the liner really dark makeup so really quickly as always i'm gonna paint on some mac paint chili paint pot so starting off with my Isom G34, the first color that we're going to dig into is this really cool toned gray color right here. It's so gray, it's literally almost lilac, but I want to apply this to the crease basically everywhere. We want this look to be very smudgy, not too much definition, so I'm really going to work on blowing out all of the colors that we're using today. And before I forget, I'm taking my ColourPop gel liner and I'm going to line my waterline with that because we're going to blend it out with other shadows. Then we're going to slowly start deepening everything out. So I'm taking this shade right here with my Wayne Goss number 18 brush. And I'm going to build this in the outer corner, the inner corner as well. So I'm mostly going to be leaving the center of my lid open. The rest I'm going to try and shade in. And before I forget my lower lash line, I'm starting with the gray color. And don't be afraid to blend that onto the waterline to blend out this black. And then I'm using the brown right on top. So now we're going to go into, of course, the darkest brown right here. And we're going to start building this in the outer parts of the lid. So you don't want to go too crazy. This is a very dark pigmented color. So I'm working it out little by little not to go too crazy. Then also get it in the inner corner as well. And then again, I'm going to take the original brush that we used and I really want to work on smoking this look out. Next, I'm taking a Refer 13 brush, which is a little bit of a tighter brush, and I'm going to work this pretty close to the lower lash line. And then, of course, I want to start adding some shimmers to the lid. So I'm going to start off with this dark plummy brown kind of shade. I'm just going to pop this right into the center of my lid that hasn't been filled yet. Like so. I actually want to build a little bit more depth. Even more. And then finally, just like the girl with the black and silver smoky eye, I do kind of want to take that center of the lid pop. So I'm taking Galaxia right here. And this shade is actually in the new mini retro palette from Natasha Denona as well. But I'm going to pop this right in the center. And then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of pat and spread. And then I'm also going to use that shade since it's the brightest in this palette because a lot of darkness gets in this area when you do a smoky eye and I do want to brighten that up just like that. This is going to come together, I promise. I'm once again taking the black eyeliner and I'm going to run it along my upper lash line. You don't need to be too precise with this because we're going to smudge it out. So get it on your tight line as well. I'm going to use this Isom T05. I'm just going to run along my lash line like this. I really like this. This is very dark and grungy for me. So for the face, we're going to go back in with the Natasha Denona Tan Palette. And I just want to, again, add a little bit of color to my face. These cool tone colors can make you look dead. So add some color back in there. Just a touch of that. Then I'm actually going to take a little bit of the bronze shade and run it just a little bit higher than I normally would because I'm not going to be applying blush for this look. So this is going to add a little bit of extra color to make the transition from the bronzer straight to the highlight a little bit more seamless. For the highlight, I'm going to go ahead and stick to the tan palette. We're going to use this guy. This highlight is so good. It's so smooth and pretty. It's just such a pretty easy highlight to grab for. 
So I'm gonna do some mascara and lashes and I will be back to do lips with you guys. So for lashes, I use Lily Lashes in Makeup by Samuel. I don't know if these are available anymore, but I hope that they are because they're one of my favorite lashes and I would like to repurchase these. But for lips, I noticed in all of the photos Kelsey sent me, most of them had on some type of lighter lip. So I'm going to go with Natasha Denona Beatrice, which is that light color that I used in the coral look. For a lip liner, I'm using ColourPop O Snap. This lip liner is pretty close to my natural lip color. It's just a bit more mauve-y. So here is the final look with the Star palette. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how much <laughs> I like this look just because of how gray and smoky it is, but I am a huge fan. Just the mixture with the liner and the lashes and the blown outness. I'm loving it. Also, how perfect was Beatrice for this look? That is all I have on my end of tutorials. I'm going to show you the pictures that I have chosen for Tara Lynn to recreate her looks, so I will be linking her video down below so you can see what she did with the pictures that I have chosen. And of course, this is a requirement. I am requiring you to go check out all of my lovely friends' other videos as well. You're in for so many different amazing tutorials. Seriously, the looks that they created were beautiful and it's just a fun interactive piece where you can see what they do with the photos that they were given and the photos that they chose for others. And I really hope you guys enjoy this group collab that we've been doing. It's definitely been so fun for me. I've been loving it and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. If you would like for us to do any more collabs like this, comment down below maybe what brands you wanna see or if you have any other ideas for a great group collab. I'm sure we would all love to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. If you are new and you were sent from the other channels, hi, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all are doing safe and well and you're not going too crazy during this quarantine. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.